Hello everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to the Alright Podcast. Where is the best podcast, not the worst podcast, it's just the Alright Podcast. Guys, look where we are. Look where we are. We are in a studio. We're not in the car anymore. When I went, when I mean me, I mean me and Nicola. But Nicola's not here either. She could be right here in this space, or we could be going two cameras back and forth. But guess what? I'm not gonna do that today. Do you know why? Because Nicola is working. I don't work. Not till next week. We'll get into that now on the podcast as well. But guys, it's been a journey. It really has. Um, as if you're a fan from you know earlier on, you know you knew that I started off in a house. Um, in my parents' house, and then I moved to my own place. And from my own place, I done the podcast there. And then from there, we done it in a car. Literally, we literally recorded podcasts in the car. There was no proper audio or anything. It was just off the little microphones that we had. And guys, I am in a place now that will provide, um, like the likes of myself and other, you know, people that want to do podcasts. And so, and the best thing about it, it's free. It's free to the community. It's free to the public. Now, what I'm talking about is, is that. Before we get into the podcast now today and you know talking about what I've been up to and so and what this where this podcast is going to go it's that there is a library that opened up I think it was in the on the 4th of December in 2020 it was the North Clondalkin library uh, it was opened and um, it's in the Clondalkin area now there's other areas as well that it's in talent and so like that as well like there's a, there's a few others if you want to know I'll leave a link down in the description below you can look up and the best thing is is that everything in here um, in the North Clondalkin library one is absolutely free it's free to use you just have to be a member of the library and guys i didn't even know about this place i got told by my auntie about this place uh, shout out jenny if you're watching you're probably laughing right now and that's okay um yeah it it's a great spot i've been in here now three days and it took me about three days to kind of get used to all this equipment and i thought you know what i'm going to make a podcast i'm going to do the all right podcast and sadly it's not with nicola now and um, it's not with nicola at the moment because you know we're going to start planning me and nicola to do podcasts with me and her and we're going to get guests as well but guys it's just going to be me for this week and hopefully we can get nicola on the podcast next week and me and nicola are going to london we're going to london on the 29th of april now there's a story about that we were supposed to go on the 25th of or the 29th of march and something happened and i don't want to say it because i want nicola to talk about it and i don't mind sharing it as well and um, but please keep your eye out for that episode also uh it's going to be it'll be a good segment to talk about but me and nicola are going to london on the 29th and um, so it'll be this week coming this podcast should be out on spotify and also youtube um on monday and um, so yeah so it's monday today i'm recording it now on the wednesday and um, so it's been a few days now just you know enough time to edit and whatnot you know yourself and um, but yeah guys so you need to know about me you need to know something about me and if you're new to this podcast and you're new to this channel basically i go on rants i i talk about stuff that i'm passionate for and i'm also there's a thing with me where I'll talk about one sub subject and then I'll go into something else, but I'll come back to that subject. And I really don't mean it. Now, if you're seeing me mixing up the mics and so, and you know, moving the mics, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to, you know, learn everything, the positions and whatnot. And um, yeah, but so I'm gonna go back to the library before we move on to everything else, is that North Clondalkin Library, if you wanna sign up, please come down. You sign, you can sign up online as well, but if you wanna come down and see the facilities, they have literally this studio room, they have a conference room, they have computer rooms. You can rent out games, you can rent out you know, books and everything like that as well. It's, it's a really nice thing for a community to do, and especially in Clondalkin also, because you know, this place has a reputation. Um, it has a bad reputation this place and I think the South County Council you know and and the people that are trying to you know and um, we're all trying to make this place better we're all trying to make this place a, a nicer place with a nicer name and I think this is a great start to it I think it's a lot of opportunities to give you know young people around the area to um, you know give them a lot of creativity space when I was growing up um, I am 26 years of age now I was 18 when I started making films 17 I think or yeah about 17 18 I start making films so um I had known there was no facilities like this there was nothing at all that I could do 
Um, and I literally had to go out with a camera and a, and a few friends and we made you know a series called Dead or Alive. And um, it was, it was, it was good, but I wish I had something like this. I really do. I think I would have learned a lot more. And if you're a part of, you know, the Clondalkin area or, you know, Talla or Lucan or, <clears throat> excuse me, or anything like that, I think you should go down to your local, local library and sign up um, because they can have facilities like this as well. And it's just a brilliant opportunity. Um, so for people that are listening on Spotify, um, there is um, a YouTube channel, obviously links all down below. You can watch the video version or if you just, you know, you're walking your dog or you're going on a nice walk or, you know, you're going to the gym. Um, you can, you know, listen to it as well on Spotify. But um, thanks so much for the support so far. Um, we are finished with the Hitmen. We only have the colour grading to do and we have the audio mixing and we have a bit of music to add into it as well. It's been a long journey. It really has. It's been a very long journey. And I'm so grateful for anybody that's, you know, that has uh, come on board over the past. It's almost been a year since we um, started filming it. We filmed it in June, I think, or May. We filmed it in May or June. Um, and we are on to our new film. I wrote a film called Strangers in the Night. And the thing about Strangers in the Night is, is that it wasn't a film that I wanted to make. It was... My phone was literally on ten percent. This is a true story. I honest to God, um, my phone was on ten percent, and what happened was is that it was about twelve o'clock at night or so, and I was like, right, Celltech. It was a you know, it's an app for screenwriters, and so if you want to be a screenwriter, look up Celltech. C E L T X. It's a it's a great um site for um you know wanting to do scripts and write scripts, but. Literally with ten percent left, I said, right, I'm gonna to try to make a short film or write, you know, a little small piece within before this phone dies. And I wrote ten pages. And the second I put the end for the first draft, the phone went dead and I went, Do you know what? That sounded alright, I didn't mind. I left it. I looked at it about two, three days later, and I read it again. I was like, oh my god, this would actually be some. This could actually be something really good. And um, I think this would be this we could do something with this. So I shouted, you know, James, Nicholas, Sarah, and um, we we run a you know a film company called the Dream Factory Productions. Uh, we've made five short films so far. Strangers in the Night is gonna be our sixth film. Uh, and so and they liked it, they liked it as well. And I'm really proud of myself and a lot of people don't say that about themselves. No one's really proud, you know. It, it takes a lot of, you know, um stuff to say that to yourself. You know, I'm proud of myself. I I'm, I'm happy in myself. I I am glad I've done this, you know. And so and we our funding is now over. By the time you watch this, our funding will be over. It was over Friday. We raised a thousand euro for our film. The goal was 750 euro. We raised a thousand euro. 20 people funded our film. And do you know why? Because I think we have an attitude as a group that there's a lot of people that want to do things and they say they say they want to do it, but they don't do it. And I think we're the opposite of them people. I think if, you know, example of myself, if I put my mind to something nowadays, I'll do it. Um, back then I wouldn't and I, I was getting sick of that type of stuff you know I, I didn't want to be that person anymore so I said right and enough of this I want to try to make a career out of this I done retail for so long and I remember I walked in this uh, place and I worked there for over a year and I was selling tellies I'm not going to name the company but I was selling tellies and the management in there was awful people were leaving left right and centre and I remember just coming in one day and deciding I don't want this as my future. I can see people are miserable and the way they talk about themselves and so. And I knew that what I wanted to do, I just didn't know how I'm going to get it because it's very hard to do, you know, film production or media production or even get any type of funding whatsoever uh, for backup. But I am so happy that I have the support behind me from friends and family and you know even people that are seeing our films and so like that as well. 
I'm so grateful that I'm in a position where I can do that. And I really hope it grows more and more. And we can help, you know, we can help with our people, you know, clients and so. And, you know, we can actually start getting paid for this so we can make this our job. Um, I am going to be making, after Strangers in the Night, I'm going to be making um, my first ever feature film. It's going to be 90 minutes long. I had a table raids with eight other people and they gave me that feedback. And they really liked the story. It was just, you know, some parts needed a bit of touch up on it, you know, and um, towards the end. And so you always need criticism. Remember that you cannot let your ego get in the way. You cannot let your narcissistic, you know, creativity ruin you because that's what will ruin you is their narcissism. And so you need to have an open mind when you're getting into stuff like this. And that's a bit of advice I'll give you also. Um, but yeah, sorry, as I said, I'll go back and forward and so. Um, but yeah, I was in a job, I, management was horrible and I decided to leave, I, I left. And I remember, they have to scan you out. And I remember I put my hands out and one of the managers went, silly boy, silly, silly, silly boy. And I just said, I literally just said no. And turned around um, and she says, uh, yeah, he or she said this. I said she you now, but I'm not gonna mention any names. But she said, you're, you're making a big mistake. You're going to regret this. And I remember leaving that place with fucking weight off my shoulders and saying, I am better than this place and I'm going to do it. Now, I had to move back in with my man and dad. I had to sleep on a couch for six months, you know. Um, and so I had a, a place of my own that I couldn't afford anymore. And for them six months, in my head, all I kept thinking was, she's right, she's right, she's right, she was right, she was right. And then I start, you know, thinking, hold on, this isn't what I should define myself as. Other people's opinions on you do not matter. They are other people's opinions. That is none of your business. Everybody has a right to say something. Everybody has a right, you know, to, you know, to, to, to have their opinion. Nowadays, it's very hard because, you know, um, people get hurt and you know people um they don't they don't no one likes an opinion of themselves and um, when it's negative but you have to remember that you just have to brush it off you really do because you need to show and prove to yourself not even other people you need to prove to yourself and no one else that you can do whatever you want to do you can you just need the confidence you need the courage and you need to educate yourself in what you want to do. I went and done cinematography uh, for a year and it's simply because I want to learn more about the camera um, and so like that as well. And I'm, I, I'm only learning now about audio because I'd love for podcasting to be a part-time job where I get paid for it. I would love to, for, you know, um, the filming thing to shoot off and get paid to make my films and involve the community in it. And so like that as well. I think that, you know, I I saw this thing on Instagram and I have it here. Um, and there's a quote, and I I think it's real nice that I'm gonna start doing more quotes and stuff like that as well for for the podcast for each episode. We do a quote an episode and talk about it. But it says, treat yourself like someone you are responsible for taking care of. You know, if you're responsible of taking care of, you know, your little brother or your sister or, you know, your mother or father or so. You want the best for them. You know, even a friend, a family member, you want the best for them. You want them to achieve so much. So why can't you do it for yourself? Why can't you go and pursue what you want to do? Sure, it's gonna take long. So does everything else. Hard work and dedication and confidence. That's what you need. I have a tattoo on my arm now. I do, I get slagged over, right? But I don't care what people say. <coughs> Excuse me. I have confidence written on my arm. And I remember when I was, I remember when I got that tattoo and that was when I needed to remind myself. Now people are like, what, you need a tattoo to remind yourself of, that you need confidence? Some people do, yeah. Some people had a hard time. Some people need to know that this is what they knew. And that for me is so strong. Confidence is everything. Confidence is key, people. And I, I think that, you know, 
as I said, learning your craft and hard work and dedication, that's what you do. So if there's anything I want you to take from this podcast today, it's that take care of yourself, treat yourself with respect like you would with someone that you're taking care of, you know? Um, look at yourself in the mirror and say, you can do this. You can do whatever you want. Where do I begin? <clears throat> Even if it's writing down one idea on a page, that's a start. Remember, as they say, Rome wasn't built in a day. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, it's so cheesy, but it's so true. Um, and, and, and so, but guys, you know, this is a new start uh, for myself and for Nicola, for the likes of getting into stuff like this. Um, Nicola, you know, she's not as, you know, she's passionate about this. And the good thing about Nicola herself, now I know she probably listened on our, you know, our side of that. And I'm not just saying this, <coughs> excuse me. I'm not just saying this because she's gonna be watching, but I'm being dead honest. If it wasn't for, you know, um, Nicola, I wouldn't be, you know, you need that backup and support, and you, you really do. I have really good friends, and I have a really good girlfriend, you know, and I have family members that are very uh, supportive of me, and I appreciate every single person as well, you know, uh, and that, that helps. So, um, yeah, I don't know how we're going to divert into something so emotional, into something so, hey, how's it going? So, um, I want to talk about, before I go, I want to talk about um, the Northman. The Northman, yeah, it's the Northman. I'm gonna look up, you know, the director and the uh, you know, the director and stuff like that as well. Um, I I always get his name wrong, so I'll see what the story is. So the Northman, sorry, I'm just putting this into my phone for the audio listeners. Um, so it literally is an action adventure. Um, and it is about Prince Hamlet. Prince Hamlet, Hamlet is on the verge of becoming a man when his father is brutally murdered by his uncle who kidnaps the boy's mother. Two decades later, Hamlet is now a Viking who raids Slavic villages. He soon meets a Sir, Sir Sorry, I'm so bad at reading. Sir, but don't let that get you down, people. Don't let that get you down. Sirs who remind him um, of his vow, save his mother, kill his uncle, avenge his father. Literally. Um, Alexander Skarsgård uh, is in it. Anya Taylor-Joy is in it also. And I went to see it last night. The budget was 70 to 90 million. Jesus, for what it was. That was so impressive. Um, the, the, you know, the uh, director of it is Robert Eggers, or Eggers. I'm so sorry about my pronunciation. I really am. Um, but I want to know what other films um, he has done. Because he's, he's, so he's done... He's done a good amount now. He's done uh, The North Man, which came out. The Lighthouse, which I love. I, I remember going and seeing The Lighthouse, and I remember looking at my friend Craig going, I'm never going to watch this film again. I've watched it three or four times now, people. Like, it's so good. The cinematography is, am cinematography? Yeah, is amazing on it. The Witch, which I will be watching later on tonight. Um, I'm going to have to do it. And he's done more as well. Uh, these are just a few that he's done but he really has a good um eye for directing you know and my main role in the dream factory productions is writing and directing um and as i said i went and done cinematography for a year i'm actually going to go back and do uh, a high national diploma in film in september i've decided that i'm going to go do it now if i get accepted fingers crossed and um, i get accepted which would be good um but yeah i'm looking forward to it I'm looking I'm looking forward to all these new beginnings, all these opportunities and starts. I I can say it now, and um, because I haven't heard anything back. I went for um an apprenticeship in the BBC uh, for in Belfast and I got to the second last um you know um assessment or, or so like that. Um one second. Yeah, I went I, I went for um I went for, for for that role of of that and the job was saying that you know an apprenticeship and i work in so many different areas up there and i was looking forward to it. i really was and i just they said you'll hear no later than the 4th of april you'll hear back and it's now i think the 24th of april you know um so i'm I, i'm not going to i, I didn't hear anything back so I, i'm i presume that i didn't get it and it would have been a great opportunity to do you know um but my backup plan was, you know, if, if I wanted, I was going to go and do that apprenticeship and get that qualification, you know, um, so much opportunities from that. 
the work for the BBC. Um, but listen, I can. There's so many doors and opportunities that people get, and they open up to them too. But you have to, you know, you have to go pursue them. And so, so my backup was college, and and I'm going to go do college now. You know, I can always make a, a feature film. You know, as long as I'm breathing and as long as I live, I can go and make a feature film. I really can. Doesn't matter how long it takes. Just remember, <coughs> excuse me. Just remember, when that time comes, you put your heart and your soul into that film. You show people what you are made of because your first impressions on someone is, has to be so important. And that's what I want for my feature film. It's going to be called Wasters. It's an Irish gangland film. And I know people are probably like, oh, Irish gangland, typical, you know, for Irish things. And I was thinking, I, you know, people were saying, why don't you do something different? And I was like, yeah, I could, but, you know, this is what Ireland is cultured around. And so, so I want to go, I want people to see what I can do with this, you know, type of work and genre and so like that for the Irish fans. Um, and, and, and so, so I, you know, everybody says, oh, I'm going to try to make it different. They always end up, there's always a bad guy. There's always guns. There's always drugs. There's always jokes. You can't escape that. It's like the antagonist and the protagonist, and, and so you can't escape it. It's always going to be in story. <coughs> Sorry, I should have brought a bottle of water. Jesus Christ, how many times have I coughed? But, yeah, so, yeah, that's that, that's it, people. Um, as I said, I'll go back and forward, whatnot. Um, so, yeah, um, so I'm going to go to college, and I'm going to do a higher national diploma in film, and I really hope, you know, I, I, I get that. Um, I'm starting a new job. By the time you see this, this will be my first day, the Monday. It will be on the, no, sorry, I'm starting on it. I'm starting Tuesday, my apologies. I'm starting on the 26th, I think, um, or the 27th, I don't know. But I'm going to be a photographer in Dublin Zoo. Yes, I am going to be with a company and I am so grateful for that opportunity. I went on LinkedIn and I checked on LinkedIn and uh, that's where I found the job. And I, I got offered another job as well um, as a cameraman, um, but it wasn't what I thought. I wanted to work with cameras, you know, I want to actually get a DSLR or, you know, a cinema camera or so and, and work with them. And basically I had to stand in buildings still like a human tripod and hold this 360 camera on my head and take a picture of the whole, you know, apartments and, you know, uh, buildings and so. Um, and it's, you know, I really appreciate the opportunity and the people that took time to do that, but it's not what I want to do. You know, it's it, it's not what I want to do. I want to physically, you know, get creative. There's nothing creative about that. It's really not. Um, so I don't know how long this podcast is. I can't see. Um, it's 24 minutes long on the camera, it says, but it might be a bit shorter, a bit longer because I have to start, you know, yourself. Um, but yeah, that's all. So guys, come here, look. I'm going to cut this uh, podcast short, um, maybe. Do you know what? No, I think I think we're going to read something. And, and, and one last message from, you know, um, a bit of word and wisdom. I want, I want if, yeah, if there's one thing I'm going to leave you with today, I know this podcast and, you know, conversations all over the place, but it's just myself. So, you know, it's just my thoughts and my mind. And, and so... <clears throat> some people are probably like he coughed too much you know and I don't care I love coughing no no I don't Jesus who loves coughings anyway um, so I'm going to leave it with this if it if it still bothers you after 24 hours speak up within 48 you are a human being you are capable of getting help and I think that everybody you know man woman child doesn't matter who it is you know Mental health is so important. And I think that, you know, talking to someone or going to therapy is good. This is like my therapy. I'm not shy. I've always shared my personal stuff online. And some people say, don't do that. You know, I don't share everything, but I share a lot of things. Um, I once done a video and you see my arse in it. I ran through the woods naked. People saw that. You know, I'm, I'm not ashamed because it's a bit of crack at the end of the day. Get it? Bit of crack. 
See what I see. See what I did there. Lovely. Um, but yeah, this is what I do. This is therapeutic for me, and I love doing this. And I can't wait to continue more. We're gonna get on so many guests, and we're going to have you know, creative people on, and you know, um, anybody that wants to come on really and has a story, or you know, and wants to have a chat. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been the All Right Podcast. And remember, it's not the best podcast. It's not the worst podcast. It's just the All Right Podcast. Guys, thanks so much. I'm looking forward to the future of this podcast and what we can do. There'll be videos out every single week. And um, don't you worry, on Spotify and YouTube, all links down below. Guys, my name has been Anthony O'Reilly, Jr. Remember that? And I will chat to you in a bit. Bye. See you later.